Buongiorno a tutti. This is Shadow Mario 41. If you're wondering why I'm speaking Italian, um, per che sto parlando italiano, uh, I have an Italian presentation that I have to give tomorrow, so I have to practice my Italiano. <laughs> I am not the most fluent in Italian. I'm not the best at languages, but I take pride in, in speaking Italian, or at least trying to. <laughs> I don't know if there'll be any time for the rest of the video. Maybe I'll just sneak some phrases in there. Mamma mia, see what I did there? I just snuck one in. Oofa. Uh, okay. That's another one. Anyway, I think it's about time to keep going because we're ready. Look at our population. We're almost at the magic number, ladies and gentlemen. Don't fret. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. I know. It has to end sometime. So don't, don't be disappointed. But we're going to keep going. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So since I have an Italian thing tomorrow, presentation, una presentazione in italiano domani, um, vorrei parlare di uh, le lingue. I'm going to talk about languages. Foreign languages. We're going to put the police the, uh, HQ in there, like I said. Because languages, I think being able to speak a foreign language is really cool. And I think the best way, well, let me start over. Let me start with the um, I am Italian, if you might not know. I am full Italian. And um, I take pride in my Italian heritage. I'm not part of the mafia, though I know people who are. But I can't tell you their names or else I'd be shot. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. That's the sad part. But, um... So yeah, uh, I think it's really cool to be able to speak more than one language, and it's a, one of the most useful skills I think that you can have in life, besides knowledge of technology, because that's becoming a huge thing too. But the knowledge of another language, be, fluency in two or more languages, I think is so helpful. And it's a shame that the best way to learn it is to just go to another country and just live there. But why is that a shame? Uh, it's because... We take classes in college, but the classes, I mean, they help, but at the same time, it, they could be so much better and so much more helpful than they are. And it, it, we should just be, like, placed there. I mean, I guess that's what studying abroad is for, but we should just be placed there and just, like, drop there for six weeks and it's like, you'll learn the language if you want to survive. I mean, I think that would be the best way to do it. Because... Um, I actually went to Italy back in 08, I want to say. Summer of 08. Yep, summer of 08. Oh, friggin' hospital. Um, yeah, in summer of 08, I went to Italy, and we had a... Our tour guide was actually really nice. We went on this tour. It was for, it was for the school, but it wasn't during school. It was in the summer. So, um, our tour guide was really nice, and uh, she was really, really helpful. And, of course, spoke English, but she learned it in Britain. And we were like, you know, we were like, how'd you learn English? When did you learn English? She was like, they just put me there for six weeks and said, learn the language. Ugh, what the hell? Is this game taunting me? So I think that was so cool. I was like, why can't they do that to us? You know? She, I mean, she probably took a class or two, but she, it was mostly from just living there and surviving that you pick up all the expressions and the grammar and whatnot. I bet the class is only focused on the grammar, but you actually pick up the expressions and such when, when you live there. So it was cool. I spoke Italian and English to her and back. Um, you know, she helped me with words I didn't know, obviously. I, I'm not fluent, but I try to be. <laughs> it's not like, uh, like um, my grandma, actually. She tries, she thinks she's fluent, but she's really not. And she, she just adds like an O or an A to the end of every word. Like if I if I say how do you say Sim City in in Italian, she'd just be like oh Sim Cityo or, or something. It's like no, no, I don't even know how to say it. I mean Città City, I don't know how to say Sim Sim Città di Sim Città di Sim. Okay, there you go, City of Sim. <laughs> I guess that works. But um, yeah, I think it's so cool. So I want to ask you guys if you are bilingual, or trilingual, or quadrilingual, or however many linguals you are, <laughs> and if not, 
are, are you studying to, you know, learn another language, and what language is it, of course. Because um, I think that's really cool. And I think it's really cool to learn the language and the culture of another place because they're so diverse from our own. Um, and unfortunately, the mentality of America isn't so much geared in that direction. I think, I personally think that we should be learning another language since grade school, since elementary school. We should be taking another language, but that's my opinion. And even, they've even cut it at my middle school. Not when I was there, but in the recent years, they've actually cut the foreign language program due to budget. So, you know, that's a whole other discussion about politics, but I mean, I think a language is one of the most important skills that you can have, so that's why I took the time to talk about it, and because I have a presentation tomorrow, so I was just like, you know, what the heck. So, um, I don't know. You can try to throw some Italian at me if you want in the comments. If you are, if you do speak Italian, I'll try to understand it. I always forget the verb to try. I wanted to say that, but it's something with a P. Provare, that's it, that's it. So, uh, provo, capire, uh, I will try to understand que te dica, what you say. I don't know, I guess. I try, though. I try. I'm getting there. I'm getting I need more practice in conversation. You know, I can understand it very well. That's my problem. I can understand it so well, but when it comes to actually speaking it back, not so much. That's kind of the trend I have. I don't know why. Like, if you write something down or you speak it to me, I can most likely understand what you say, if it's in Italian, of course, not in some other language. But otherwise, I'm, like, in the dark. And, I, I, like, I can't say it back, which sucks. But I'm learning. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I really do want to... I mean, I don't want to, like, minor in Italian or anything, because I just don't. <laughs> but I would like to continue studying it on my own and eventually learn it. That would be really cool, I think. So, that's that. I wonder where Azul actually is, and what the official language is. I mean, I guess it's English, but it doesn't really say where this place is. It's just some landmass in the middle of nowhere that just stops here. It's like the world is flat, like that old belief. And some people still believe it, but that's another story. <laughs> So, yeah, we're, look at this. We're at 239,680, so very, very close to our magic number. So probably when we finish off this block and then maybe build a little bit over here, we'll be all set. I do want to build more industry, though. I didn't do that in a little while. Actually, you know what we need? We need police because everyone's so incompetent. Police and some more industry. Though. There we go. And look at that. We even lined up perfectly with the road there, so I'm pretty happy about that. And those will get power eventually. So actually, let's build the roads around like this. Look at this, look at this. This looks really nice, actually. Um, we'll just make it go... Oh, oh, that's bad. Didn't want to do that. You know what we could do? I don't, no, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that until I'm sure I want to do that, but I just thought of a, ro a, a plan for our roads. We could have it connect to this little square here, and then it would curve up, 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 and join up with this. Actually, that's not even a direct line. It's like one square off, I think. From here, if we go straight up... Oh, God. If we go... I need to use the D-pad. If we go straight up... Yeah, we're one square off. So we can't even get perfect alignment, but we come pretty close. And um, let's just finish off the road. Make it like that. Since we can't put anything here, I'll just put park. Park. Ideally trees. Add two trees, that's fine. So this zone was a little mixed. We have a little bit of everything, actually. We have some highs, we have some uppers, we have some mids, we have a school. No hospitals. There were a lot of them, but no. I say nay. Commercial zones, kind of what I expected. Upper, this one's doing nothing. I would like it if it was an upper, or if a high, of course. But upper is just fine by me. These are mids. These are, this is lower right now. These are probably going to be mids. 
so we're doing pretty well. See, I told you. You didn't believe me. I know you didn't believe me. You're out there, and I'm wagging my finger at you. You didn't believe me when I sit, when we were up here doing all this crap. And I was like, oh, this is all working up to later. And you were like, oh, yeah, right, blah, blah, blah. And look at this. This is what happens when you expand too quickly. I'm actually glad I got to show this. Your residential zone can collapse and become this, which is just slums. So what do you do with it? You bulldoze it, and you try again. So, this is Shadow Mario 41. This has been Let's Play SimCity with Infinite Money. Um, I can't say that in Italian, so I'll just say this has been SimCity with Infinite Money. I can say this, though, my final word in every video. Shadow.